In the heart of the Amerson Forest, a vast and mysterious wilderness untouched by modern civilization, two adventurous souls, Sam and his best friend Eric, set out on an expedition that would change their lives forever. With backpacks filled with supplies, cameras, and an insatiable thirst for adventure, they ventured deep into the dense canopy of ancient trees. The forest was a spectacle of nature's grandeur. Towering trees with gnarled roots, exotic plants, and the echoing calls of unseen creatures surrounded them. The air was thick with the scent of earth and the sound of leaves rustling in the wind. Every step they took seemed to lead them further into an enchanted world. As the sun dipped below the horizon, Sam and Eric found a cave nestled among the roots of a colossal tree. With the rain clouds gathering ominously above, they decided to take shelter there for the night. The cave's mouth provided just enough refuge from the impending storm. Wrapped in sleeping bags, they tried to get some rest. The rain started falling with ferocious intensity, drumming on the cave entrance. The sound was both soothing and eerie, like a wild symphony. Sam and Eric exchanged excited whispers as they drifted into a fitful slumber. In the dead of night, Sam was awakened by strange and haunting chants. He shook Eric awake and they peered cautiously out of the cave. To their shock, they saw shadowy figures surrounding their makeshift campsite, their bodies painted with intricate patterns and adorned with feathers and bones. The tribal group had discovered them. With hearts pounding, they silently retreated into the cave, hoping they hadn't been noticed, but the rainstorm had intensified, masking their movements. The tribal group, however, was relentless. They soon approached the cave, their torches illuminating the darkness. Suddenly, the cave entrance was blocked, and the two friends found themselves surrounded. The tribal warriors were fearsome, their eyes filled with an ancient wisdom that sent shivers down Sam's spine. A tall, elderly man who seemed to be the leader stepped forward, his voice carrying the weight of centuries. Through gestures and broken words, Sam and Eric communicated their peaceful intentions. The tribal group, after a tense standoff, decided to spare their lives. With a mix of curiosity and caution, they took the two friends to their village deep within the forest. The village was a revelation of a way of life both ancient and harmonious with nature. Tree houses were suspended high in the canopy, connected by intricate rope bridges. Fires burned with a mesmerizing glow, and the villagers shared their meals and stories with Sam and Eric. Over the days that followed, Sam and Eric learned about the tribe's rich culture, their deep connection with the forest, and their astonishing knowledge of the natural world. They were shown how to hunt, gather, and even how to climb the towering trees. As the weeks turned into months, Sam and Eric's bond with the tribe deepened. They participated in tribal rituals, danced by the firelight, and marveled at the incredible diversity of plants and animals the forest sheltered. Every day brought a new adventure, a new lesson, and a new understanding of the world they had stumbled upon. But there was an undercurrent of horror too, for the forest held its own secrets. On several occasions, they encountered creatures that defied description, eerie, bioluminescent beings that seemed to belong to a different dimension. The tribal people spoke of them in hushed tones, warning Sam and Eric never to venture too deep into the forest alone. As the seasons changed, the friends knew they couldn't stay in the Amerson forest forever. They had families and lives waiting for them back in the world they had left behind. The tribal group understood and guided them back to the edge of the forest, where they said their tearful goodbyes. Returning to civilization was a jarring experience for Sam and Eric. They struggled to convey the magic and wonder they had experienced in the Amerson forest to their friends and family, who could only listen in disbelief. Years passed, and the memories of that fateful expedition never faded. Sam and Eric remained close friends, forever bound by their incredible adventure in the heart of the Amerson Forest. It was a journey that had tested their courage, filled them with awe, and shown them a world both beautiful and terrifying, where the line between reality and legend blurred into a tantalizing mystery that would haunt them for the rest of their lives.
we are